Welcome back to the Reptiles with Podcast. Listen, before we get started, we have to address the elephant in the room. We've all seen Brian's video. Uh, we're not going to talk about it today because I personally feel like it's a little bit inappropriate. Uh, out of respect for him, his loved ones, his family, I just don't think that we should. Um, if you want to know more information about that, there's a bunch of it online and etc. All right, we're yep. cool. Let's get the ball rolling. They're trying to ban iguanas. Yep. All over the place. That's and I want piss, bro. I'm donating <laughs> to USR, bro. You know what's gonna happen. Nah, I'm donating to it. I'm donating, bro. I have a rhino, bro. Before I didn't give a fuck because I didn't have one. Now I got one, bro. That's so funny. I'm just kidding. I really don't give a fuck. Oh, <laughs> you know what though? I was waiting. So they banned iguana iguana maybe four or five years ago. In Florida. Three years ago. I don't know. Yeah, in Florida, several years ago. I was surprised that they didn't also add in like Tinosaurus similis, the Mexican spiny tails, because those are also down south. Um and it's surprising that they're also putting like Cyclura in there. I mean, if you go by Crackfield's face, you'll, you'll find a bunch You're of so dumb. Cyclura around. So, Thank I mean, you. Thank you. But you will not. Thank you. <laughs> you won't. I know, I would know because I live by there. I mean, people oh, have told, yeah. other people have said they yeah, found yeah. rhinos. Not populations, Cuba. no, but every yeah. now and then, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, you yo, see yo, one walking, you see Crackfield, I'm like, yo, oh, come back here, buddy. Yo, allegedly, FWC, fuck you if you're watching, fuck you. But how, how you get your rhino? She uh, was <laughs> nat- naturally, huh? naturally, naturally. Yeah, well, they- it's illegal f- to get them from the Dominican I was Republic. Say, you got them from Haiti? So what do you mean? <laughs> How, what do you mean, bro? She was in nature. Where at? She was outside. Natural. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Around where? That's so funny. Central Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, that's a fucking problem. No, I know, I know. But my but, point but, was that but, I'm surprised they didn't do it then. They weren't banning iguanas early. Oh, yeah, but they gotta get little bigger. by little, bro. They gotta grab little by little. Now that's not the reason why they're adding all that shit to the list. And this that's is the bigger thing. because this is not only Florida. Is US Ark saying this? No, no, th- this is everywhere, no? This is not just I Florida. I don't fucking know. I'm no. pretty sure this I thought, is no, just, I thought it was just Florida, right. bro. Yeah. We, we're, thought, we're starting the year hot. Florida. We're starting the year hot with fake. Okay. Yo, this okay. is bullshit. Look, look at your phone. It says yeah. US Ark Florida right there. I just, see, I just see some of the photos. And look, bro, listen, this is the, the way I see it. I see it. I'm like, damn, runners are about to be illegal. That's fucking crazy. Damn, this is Florida. I'm not surprised. It, it I'm is. a liar, bro. Yeah, you are bullshitting on your ass. Yo, I suck. All right, so check this out. Because the list has all the Florida stuff and then just says iguana scratched out. Iguana. But. There are some loopholes in there, bro. Okay. That's so it's like subspecies or... Mm-mm. Okay. All right. I'm going to read exactly what... Uh, well, for the most part, what US Ark Florida posted. HB1033 seeks to expand the ban on green iguanas to include all iguana species. Um, and then it lists... <laughs> That's funny. What? Okay, when you say iguana species, are you talking about? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't tell them the truth. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, if they, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a loophole in there. Just okay. leave it. Just leave okay, it. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna have Tino read the species because he understands Latin. Okay, so we are looking at, uh, assumedly all genera of the family Iguanidae, also Amblyrhynchus, Brachylophus, Cacrix, Car- Cacrix, Car- yeah, Conolophus, Tinosaurus, Cyclura, Dipsosaurus. That's your boys. Yeah. Iguana and Saromalis. Yeah. So. so any of the iguanids. Yeah. That makes almost iguanids. no uh, sense. But when you say iguanids, that makes but, more sense. But 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 listen, listen, listen. That is what you and Sark, Florida, wrote. Right. That is not what I saw on their writing. Mm-hmm. What I saw on their writing is to scratch iguana. So I hope they leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All yeah. I'm saying is I hope they leave it like that. See the fuck up they just did. So yeah. they write, uh, Florida is the world center of conservation for imperiled iguana species. Some of the largest uh, assurance colonies of endangered iguanas are found at Florida facilities. The reptile industry has contributed to raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for iguana conservation through Iguana Fest and coordinating with conservationists. In addition to its negative uh, conservation impacts, this bill further degrades the freedoms of reptile keepers and small business uh, within Florida. HB 1033 also bans the sales of dogs, cats, and uh, pet shops. Mm-hmm. Did you guys read the bill straight from the government? No, any chance? No, I just saw the, the, the post that people are throwing out there. Okay, okay. So I'm not going to read it either. <laughs> 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 I, the thing is, I just clicked it right now. Oh, it's not that long. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. but... I'll read it right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> so no. I think Three, I, Three out of the four of us have iguanas. Eric, when are you getting your iguana before the You see. Um, Wait, what do you have? Me? You don't know? I have a uh, pectinata. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, I have yeah, a, yeah, It's yeah, pied. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Well, this this is actually real and everything. I, I'm going to have to start getting something. Yeah. Just to have that assurance. I'm like, all right, and let me get it And me grandfathered in, bro. Yeah. You could just yeah. put fucking Cheggy under your 
thing and say I have one and then if anybody ever comes see your shit I'll be like take my fucking iguana yeah say it on the Bet. say it live on uh, the that podcast. was so alleged <laughs> yeah. you heard anything yeah, more alleged live on the pod you fucking idiot <laughs> nobody knows what Cheggy is so Yo. he's fine yeah you're right yeah. I've never <laughs> said what Cheggy is at all in the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, three yeah. years that we've been doing this but listen, listen Cheggy with a K yeah. listen I don't the only thing I see I don't understand why they're going after everything um, yeah, I like the like other keenness there. I was yeah, like, it's kind of it's kind of okay. random. It's kind of random. They're just going for it all. It's the same reason that they put all the big snakes on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah cut I guess, that whole thing. Yeah, it's yeah. just just an in case thing, I guess. Um, I think, like I always think, it's it's a lot of the fault of of the industry mm-hmm. because of the view we we gave ourselves and and that. It's not even ourselves right now. That goes to like course. for generations even before us. We did not put ourselves in a good look. We fucking yeah. didn't. The people before us fucking didn't. Now these fucking normies don't know shit about fuck and they're freaking out about anything we do. Yeah. Yep. And that's like not directly our fault, but it, it is the industry's fault. That's what we are fighting it, trying to educate people, trying to get to. And I hope it happens. But at the same time, I'm like this. It, this could have it, it, it could have happened way earlier. It mm-hmm. should have happened earlier, honestly, mm-hmm. when shit was going south. Yeah. Now, shit is not as bad, I don't think, but... It's th- also interesting that they would go for for the iguanids when there's probably other species that probably make a little bit more sense. Like anoles, they're not banning anoles. They're an iguanid. Control anoles. Okay, <laughs> they're not in the genus as specified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no. that's one of the... It's like, Okay, weird. Yeah, but the if, thing, you're, if you're talking solely yeah, about invasive the thing, presence. But the, thing, but the thing with the anoles is that a lot of them did come from the plants, except mm. for the large ones and certain species But we still them. keep them. And they're still yeah, getting them. Yeah, but it's like, they're not worried about those as much. I they guess. don't see it as much. I, th- I don't think it's that visible to them. Okay. Like, if they see a night anole, you normally think that shit is an you iguana. Know, you know what I mean? Like, so it's like my, actually, gonna... one time, my uncle caught a night anole, and he's like, I caught this iguana for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's... I don't know. So, I, I will say this, too. Uh, when the iguana band went in, people would still like when I was in Gainesville, people would call and be like, "So can I have like a blue iguana?" And oh I'm like, God. "Okay, when you say blue iguana, do you mean iguana iguana?" Or do you, and they're like, oh, "I don't know, it's a, it's a blue one, it's a blue uh, iguana." Yeah, I'm like, yeah. oh. so they don't know the difference. They probably FWC was probably like, "We're tired, Fucking ban no. all the iguanas." <laughs> yeah, just iguana. All. No, you cannot have any iguana. Yeah. I just like yeah. how they like uh, pretty it up because they're like, we know that people don't want the sales of dogs and cats at shops Mm -hmm. so they're like i'm gonna sneak this iguana thing in this dog and cat bill (laughs) just so everybody could want to sign it yeah Mm -hmm. Uh, of course of course that's what happens i think what do you think you think it's gonna pass i don't know i don't think so yes i think think it is and if it is it is what it is bro i'll fight for it and this is this is one of the reasons i don't support your sark it's like what really can you do bro but there's not really thought about it i'm not gonna lie i've thought about it and i don't i don't it don't make sense to me what does it make sense to you like what exactly do they do? Do they just go to these hearings that we just went to and like that doesn't do anything? That's part of it. That is part of it. No. Lobbying. What else? But it's also about conducting lawsuits. I, well, yeah. They, how many lawsuits are there right now? At active? Least all that I know Florida. of. All that I know is the coffee one. No, there's at no, least no, no, two and lawsuits then, and then an old iguana one. That's it. But yeah, that's they're it doing too. a iguana. I'm one. just fucking with you. I, I, mean, I just threw time. a number. It but, takes time. Lawsuits take yeah, time. No, they but do take time. But how many are we doing at a time? Are we? Are we donating more to protect this yeah. or are we donating more like, to protect You remember the, the first time they banned iguanas? Yeah. And they said, that's unconstitutional. That was a lawsuit. People were like, hey, that is unconstitutional. You can't do that. Or a threat of lawsuit. It was a threat yeah. of lawsuit because yeah. they were like, and that's Because of the wording and then he just fixed the wording. Yeah, and then, then he just fixed the wording. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's the little things like that. You have to fight the law in certain things and be like, well, they're not doing this. It's unconstitutional to take this right away from people. That, that kind of thing. And that's I their think, basis. For I think what it. it is really is, I mean, they have to create some kind of. This is the thing. If there was no noise, the bill just gets passed. Of course. Right? Of so course. they have to bring attention to this of thing. Of course. Yeah. Absolutely. But how much money are we giving them for one person to show up and fight? And get two minutes is to speak. That, yeah, is that, yeah. Is that like... I think the thing is, is that, that? The, the, uh, I mean, they got to have money for the lawyers, uh, God forbid, when things go down. Yeah. They have to have something allocated for that. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's where that money would go. And I think there are a couple active lawsuits. I, I think I, we gotta look into that. Yeah. We gotta look into that because it's like sounds like we need more information. Yeah, yeah. at this fucking point, because yeah. I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of odd. It's yeah. kind of odd. I don't. But understand I think it. at this stage, it is important to have an organization that's there to create awareness for this thing. Because like I it's said, good. I, I agree. Awareness of government actions is yeah, needed. You absolutely. know, otherwise we'll end up in World War Three, and we have no idea why. That's a jump. 
Yeah, it is a cop. <laughs> it is a cop, but it's the truth. Florida <laughs> <guys. laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, but it, it is. It is true. You know, uh, yeah. people don't stay informed and they don't have means to be informed. Yeah, you get yeah. fucked. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens, bro. I am keeping mine regardless. Yeah. And if they want me to chip that bitch, I'm chipping that That's another thing. They're going to give us regulations. They're not going to do a whole lot ban. If they want me to make a concrete enclosure, guess what? I don't breed. I only got one animal. I got this shit. Y'all motherfuckers, I want to have a hundred. That's on you, bro. I went to the the Reptile House Serpentarium. And say what you will about the place. I will have no further opinion about the place. (laughs) But they have an iguana enclosure. And I was looking at it like, unless the cement base... For the regulations are in the ground because <laughs> I can't see it. This enclosure does not be regulations, you know. And so one of the employees there was saying like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Like FWC is always giving us grief for this enclosure. Who like, was it? Well, because Do you know it who doesn't it work. I don't know those guys. Well, how? What did he look like? Long Greasy hair? white dude, long, long hair? brown hair. Oh, I know. Yeah, you is. know who he is. Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, that's but like hilarious. he's like they're always giving us grief for this enclosure. I'm like, probably because it's inadequate. They got the double door, but I don't know if they have the cement base. So I'm like. I mean, if you're not doing what FTC is telling yeah. you to do, yeah, duh. And they still give them a chance, bro. It's not that fucking hard. It's not that hard. It's yeah, not that it's hard. Not that it's not hard. that hard, bro. But if they do that, then I'll, I'll do what it takes to make the enclosure. Yeah. Like, I want the animal, and then that's it. One thing one thing that's a little bit difficult that FTC doesn't always, like, I don't know if they're taking into consideration or if maybe we could possibly push for this kind of consideration, what? the event of winter. So I have an outdoor enclosure for my pectinata. During the winter, when it started getting colder, I'm like, I'm not going to keep putting this guy back out forth and forth and forth. So I put some lights inside and I have an indoor enclosure, right? Okay. If you look at green iguanas, they have separate uh, requirements for indoor versus outdoor enclosures. Bro, you, you think they're checking that shit, bro? I don't know. No, they're not. I don't know. If it's contained indoors, it don't fucking matter. You're good. I guess. Yeah, I don't think it matters if no. it's indoors, dude. It's no. Okay. If it's outside, you bring it inside in a fucking plastic tub. That's the, like transporting. Yeah, you're good. Or do no. like a catio that's attached to your window. No, but I'm saying like the enclosure, the requirements for like you have to have the outdoor enclosure up to standard, and you have to have the indoor enclosure up to standard. But the, not even the indoor enclosure is not crazy. It's just an enclosure behind. I know for a tegu and like, retic- I know for a tegu it's different. Tegu they have certain requirements like they need double doors. For the takers, I don't yeah. know if the iguanas are the same no, way. It, and a double door inside iguanas, your own house. Well, well the like, thing, no, no, in, in the double door thing, the house counts as a door. So if it's a, a room, that's how venomous works. You have the oh, the snakes there in a room, see. door one, yeah. house door double door two. It, yeah, exactly. That's it. I see. That's I contained. See. Okay. Yeah. So that counts as it. So. Okay. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm gonna chip my. I mean, shit, yeah, we're gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah, whatever really it takes care. to keep aloe, to yeah. keep. I don't know your guys. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Okay, I don't think they care. What do you guys think about this right here? God damn it. Okay. God fucking damn it. Please. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Wild? Yeah. I, I mean, mean, it's got to be wild. It's in the wild. Where at? Whoa. Where at? I'm not sure where this was at. Because I'll pull up. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Though. An all white similis. Yes. Is it? Can you zoom in on the eye? Is it out? Is it red? Uh, I don't know. You can't really off. see it that okay. well. Where is it at, bro? Send me the fucking pin. So I Yo, think what if that was in Miami? What we're looking at Send looks me the pin, like bro. it's an all white. It looks like Tinosaurus similis, yeah, and it bro. looks beautiful. It looks like a big anole. If you look yeah. at it from far bro, away, give me the like goddamn pin. No, albinos don't survive in the wild, though. That's a whole ass adult. <laughs> okay, bro. that is yeah, that they is don't an adult survive, male. bro. Yeah, that is cool. It never, it could never survive, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. How did it grow up as a baby? They can't survive, dude. Yosh, I'm gonna read Reptiles can never survive in the wild, like the moors and the albinos and shit. If you want to support us, head on over to modernreptileshop.com or in the description where you can find our merch. And the best part is, is that a percent of the proceeds from the merch gets donated to conservation. One more time, that's modernreptileshop.com or head on over to the description. And then this came out. What do you guys oh think about it? Did you God, see it? God, yes. yes. Oh, yeah, dude. Fire. Right. So cool. You saw this, right? What is that? All right, I tell don't see anything. This is the. the I'm not on Facebook. Okay, and I'm not on. Tell them what it is. You know the lizard that Conception is always telling you about. Yes. That. That's that lizard. I the saw that and I was like, I want to send this to this guy. Yeah. They eat ants. This, cool. It's called it's, a it's, green thorny tail iguana. I'm gonna try my so best. That's gonna at be this banned too. Line. No, it's not in the game. <laughs> this is. It's not even in the. Ura uh, Ura Centron. Yeah. Azur Azurium. I what? I mean, that's the one of the first. I, that's the only time I've ever seen one captive born. Yeah, it's just the, the and that is an incredible. Like, well, congratulations to that. That's crazy. Thing. I got a little. Yeah, look at an adult. I got yeah, a they're yeah. fire. They're fire. I like those a lot. I got a little passage here. It's a small arboreal lizard, uh, under four f- inches, from the Amazon rainforest. <laughs> You're so stupid. From the Amazon rainforest that feeds primarily on ants. Look, that's a picture of an adult yeah. right there. They look like arboreal euros. 
Oh, that's pretty Darius cool. Yeah, super yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, kudos. Whoever that was, shout out. Good job, yeah. bud. Good job, man. I forgot her name. Maritza. That must have been rough. Is it Maritza? I don't know. Maritza. So, so uh, Maria, bro. That's Maria. not a hard name. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Grandma name. Yo, I love you. I love you. So when Ron uh-huh. sent me his friends yes. to come to Wild Florida, she's one of them. Oh, that's... Yeah, oh. yeah. She's in Florida. One of them. Huh? She's in Florida? No, when, oh. when they came down for Daytona... Okay. There was a group of people of Ron St. Pierre's friends, and he sent gotcha. them to my job, uh-huh. and I walked them around, and she was telling me about getting those. Okay. Mm, very And cool. then she posted that. I'm like, crazy. Hell yeah. yeah. Good for you. Okay, so then, scrolling through Facebook, I found this. What an, uh, from Sunshine Coast Snake Catchers. That's uh, in Australia. What an incredible find. Last night, uh, one of their employees was at a job site because they, like, uh, they get called for, like, nuisance snakes and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, they found three female carpet pythons on on eggs in like uh, all back to back. Oh, I saw that picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look so at this shit, dude. Incredible Group maternal. Yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. That's so cool. That is so. And they're they're no saying way. that. I mean, this is probably the only photographed picture of that ever. Yep, that's so. That cool. is. Awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can yeah. I say something? Cool. Yeah, of course yeah, you can. Lesbians. You're an idiot. <laughs> that makes no sense. No, 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 no. Single moms. Parthen- it does make sense. No, they're single moms. What he said. Single moms. Ooh. I was going to say something. Don't say what you're going to say, buddy. Yeah, let's, listen, listen. Yeah, is that yeah. Parthenogenesis? No. How no. is that anything Because they're lesbians. Well, no, I was trying to make a joke. Actually, actually, I was trying to make a joke. Uh, 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 My bad. My bad. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to take over to fuck your ass up. What do you listen. mean? Listen. Species of lizard. All lesbians. Morning gecko. No. Well, they're males. No, they're all gecko. lesbians. Oh, wow. I don't Like know. true lesbians. Because they don't produce males. The males that are in the eggs die. And they can only produce eggs if the two females have sex. Wait, what? They Sounds can only produce eggs if the two females have sex. How do they have sex? They You're, scissor? Yep. For real? <laughs> yes. I was joking. Actually, yeah, there, there is an instance where it's like yeah. simulating copulation. Yeah. And then they, they become uh, uh, gravid because and of then be, Yeah, it just... It just uh, like one the of the females... So you just got to get horny yeah, yeah. enough and, and you can that is, simulate it. They're in Arizona. And guess, guess what? Cool. what? They're technically a hybrid. Interesting. A locality of hybrid in Arizona or New Mexico or that area over there. That is so progressive of them. <laughs> yo, yo, we're moving up, bro. I know. We're moving These up. These reptiles are listen, crazy. Listen, listen, listen. listen. I, I've been saying, you know, me and you have been arguing for weeks now yeah. over this shit. Weeks. Listen, listen. Life in nature and in, in reptiles, all of it, it's all liquid. It does whatever the fuck it wants, bro. Uh-huh. Like, that's crazy. That would be yeah. fucking yeah. crazy. I sent, them, I, I sent you guys to a wolfen. Yeah, a wolfin. You know, wolfin. okay, okay. What's, okay wait, say what a wolfin is. There's people this. that are a wolfin is a dolphins in a false killer whale having a baby, and then that baby is fertile to have more babies. Wolfin. Okay, but let's be fair. There's no real distinction between whales and dolphins aside from size. Okay, unless you're talking about no. baleen whales. Yes. What do you mean? That they are different. That is true. So you they're, are admitting no, that like, yeah, yeah, beaked yeah. whales. He's beaked he's whales he's are still whales. No, no. They're technically. Yo, listen. They're, they're, they're technically all dolphins. No, no, except no, for the baleen. Don't activate the special it's interest. Like saying, you know. It's like saying. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There are on the uh, to the whales. So dolphins. Yeah. So dolphins. Uh. Uh. Dolphins, oh, right? Oh, to beaked whales. They're entire different group of dolphins. Not the same genus. Entire different different families. Right. Like pilot it's, whales. It's like saying yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like saying fucking an alligator and a fucking crocodile had a baby. A caiman. <laughs> Bro, I'm, that's <laughs> I'm fucking done. That with is this so funny. funny. Speaking about oh, caiman, gator and a caiman actually. Yeah, actually, so. I was gonna say one more thing about All the right. the carpet pythons. Um, I was I sent you the article maybe last year uh-huh. about how carpet pythons. In maternal incubation, can sometimes like be endothermic. Oh yes, like yes, they can yes, somehow yes. produce their own heat uh-huh. to warm up the eggs. Yeah, fire. There's a Super couple of reptiles cool. like that. Yeah, yeah. Tegus can do that too. Tegus, Tegus yeah. can do it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I think cool. Burmese mm-hmm. pythons do that too. So I heard cool. something about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. there's fire. a few reptiles that can. Yeah, 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 that's wild. So as we're saying, caimans. Look at this fucking. I think I sent this to you. The picture yeah, of the caiman eating yeah. the emerald tree. That is a dwarf caiman. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Yep, dwarf caiman. One of them. Let me see. That's one of the dwarf caimans. He's not gonna know what it is. He's a liar. I think it's a smooth. That is not what the smooth. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. Name trig. I saw. Well, it. I know it's from the. Yo, end. look at Dino the, over here. About I don't know. I removed the trig. So the not the, not the smallest one. The second one. The, the second Trigonometry. smallest. Okay. It might be smooth. It says it right there, bro. What? Trigonatus. Uh, yeah. Trigonometry. Bro, it literally <laughs> says it in the fucking yeah, picture. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know the, the common name. I just know that. Okay. Wow, he's so cool. So it's the second smallest, not the smallest. Okay. He only talks yeah. in Latin names. No, mm-hmm. just that species because the common names are so many. It's yeah, like I know. dwarf It's like caiman. dolphin and whale. 
No, way different. <laughs> oh my god. No, guys, not. these are in the same genus. What are you talking about? They're literally the about, same genus. Okay, okay. well, whatever. Yeah, we do. What common names? <laughs> we, we were just saying how shitty common names are. We know how they are. Yeah. Common names don't mean yeah. anything. They're like closely related. If those two had babies, it's just like, it, it makes sense. They're same genus, not that different, other than the scoots in the back and mm. whatever. Let's keep going. You guys want to <laughs> see? Ah, oh, that's dumb. Some crazy fucking animals? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Crazy. I saw that one. I sent it to him. Yeah? What is this? I can't see T- very tell well. Tell us what it bro, is. Bro, you're blind, yeah, he's bro. No, blind. today I'm bad. Yeah. Nice. I'm bad today. I got to I got to start wearing my glasses for this. You need to start yeah. praying more, yeah, it's bro. It's new year, new me, I guess. Uh, that right here, we are looking at a two-headed musk turtle. Yeah. I, I hope it lives. <laughs> it's got like I'll two separate much. necks, too, which it looks I like think means two separate is, brains. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's crazy. What are you talking about? It's Are you two-headed? Headed? No. It's, you, we don't, we where, haven't where looked else? inside of it. I don't know. So you're going to say a fully formed skull with eyes that is doing everything, doesn't have a brain in there. I don't know. Do you that have we, an MRI of this animal? No. Yes, I, have no idea. I do. No. I'm Look, when it comes <laughs> with Siamese twins or conjoined whatever, yeah. yeah, they're weird. I'm surprised that that exists at all. What are you going to call them? <laughs> it's weird. Let me see that thing. The anatomy is weird. Are you calling them weird? No, put that thing down, bro. People it's, are weird. Normal people are weird. Everybody's weird. Pain? What do you mean, dude? Look, that you know what? That's life. I don't so think it's not whenever cool, I see bro. two two headed animals, they've had like rat snakes be two headed animals. We actually saw one at Daytona. Did you see it? No, no I, I had didn't. a two headed rat snake at Daytona. I missed oh, that one. Yeah. Um, sometimes I do get it, like that little feel euthanasia bad. come in, and I'm like. Is this wrong? This feels bad. Because yeah. especially with snakes, I mean, sometimes they want to eat at the same time. It depends, though. If, if like, it, I have one in my clutch, I'd be like, fuck it, I'm going to keep it. But I wouldn't yeah. breed for it. Where people no. have yes. tried to breed for yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, people even breed stuff without eyes. It's a little messed up, yeah. Galapagos. Yeah. Doesn't, Brian has a, a two-headed king snake. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There's, uh, there's somebody, you must, I don't know how to explain this person to you, but Galapagos tortoises without eyes, they breed them. Oh That's really? For, for fun. Yeah. For wow. For conservation or for for the pet trade? For, for conservation? conservation? Without <laughs> eyes? It's not Send I, them back to no, the Galapagos. No. <laughs> it's These not I mean like this. Because no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. when you talk about They don't see the destruction if you just call it. <laughs> Do you mean like actual Galapagos tortoises or tortoises from the Galapagos Islands? No, 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 no. Cuz sometimes there aren't that many tortoises there are aren't from that there. many specimens that you can go ahead and just afford anything that you want. You have to breed they're, what you can. Yeah, they're breeding Galapagos tortoises on purpose to not have eyes. Oh, well, on what's purpose? that for? Yes. To have no eyes? Yes. For what reason? For what? Well, it's like a, a that's the question. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know, wait, I think something is getting re- uh, is getting phrased incorrectly. Are they breeding them? Like, oh, yeah. In spite yeah. of having no eyes. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. To have no eyes. Why? You will know who they are. I'll tell you after this. Okay. You can say it. Why not? No, 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 no. Yeah. no. We don't have to do that Especially here. because of him. I won't because of him. Oh, God. Uh, That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, can That's... you guys see what's wrong with this animal from the top picture? What's wrong with this image? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that image? Can you tell? See, not, now I'm okay. like second no, guessing myself. Okay, like, but describe what you're seeing. Oh, is it is it this? No. You want to see the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Wait, I'm scared. All right, I want all Wait. you guys to come close so you guys can see it. All right. Yeah. Ready? 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 Uh, holy crap! It has, I, I still can't see it. What it has, <laughs> bro. It has six legs. What it has another the one. Fuck is that? Is that still ca- is that still yeah. considered a chimera? No. No, it's a chameleon. You're an idiot. It's no, a chimera is just when two things That's come crazy. together inside the belly. So it could still be that. That's crazy. Uh, Does it have extra? Uh, I'm curious though. to see if it has extra mm. organs in there as well. I think maybe incubation error, error in the DNA. And it had, well, I mean, not incubation error because there has to be two babies inside the eggs at the same the, time. The so eggs twins. have to fuse. Not necessarily. They pairs at sometimes time. if your DNA is just broken and you're coding for more legs than you're supposed to have. Oh, you're right. It could be that. I, and I which can denature in incubation temps. A so, biological glitch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy. Watch. Someone's gonna bre- someone's gonna have it and breed it to their siblings. Oh, I know. They can do it on purpose. Hundred percent. I know somebody who would do that. Oh, I know a couple of somebody's, bro. Yeah. All right. So, um, how do you guys feel about rear fang venomous snakes? They're Ooh, interesting. I already know where you're going with this. In terms of like what? I love them. They're cool. They're cool. Okay, they are cool. But how do you feel about everybody? Like putting them in the si- they're all like in the same realm as this is a hog nose. Okay, no, because it's so, rear fang. I'll say this. I'll mm-hmm. say this. When you look at viperidae, okay, some are life threatening, some are not. Yeah. Okay. Elapids, for the most part, not usually the case. Usually, most are life threatening, but some aren't. Uh-huh. Some you can take a, an elapid bite and be okay. Wait, which one, bro? Colubrids. Which one? Coral snakes. Sometimes people survive coral snake bites. Uh, 
You hear this guy? People have. People have survived corn snake bites. A dry bites. bite? It's not, a, it's not a death sentence. It's not yeah, a death sentence. Yeah, a dry bite don't count. No, bro. yeah, that doesn't count. It, it's not a death sentence. But brother, when it comes to rear fang colubrids, you heard that guy? some are life-threatening. Some are very life threatening. You got like boom slangs. You've got Af- African vine I didn't snakes. I know that. that but then you've got kill people. Yeah, yeah. I learned that like last week. Yeah. <laughs> it, what's awesome about its venom is that it's not unique, but it's it specifically targets the blood, so it doesn't clot. Usually, you have uh, uh, neuro n- neurological venoms, mm. which attack your 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 nervous system. Obviously, you have cardiotoxins, which attack your ner- your your heart. Hemo. But this one is hemotoxic. It attacks the blood, so it doesn't clot. So you eventually just bleed out of every orifice. That's in your what body. they get boon does. Insane. That's what they get boon. Crazy. Anyway, sorry. Even your Peter. Yeah, yeah everything. Your every every orifice in your body. No. Yeah, because your body can't hold no. you can't hold the blood. Mm. Anyways, um, but yeah, you go to like hognosis. You go to racer snakes. People take bites. I know, nothing I know happens. somebody. I know somebody who got bit by a garter snake and swelled up. I know someone who's allergic to racer snake venom. Yeah, like you know? literally, his hand was like this big. Yeah, like swelled up. I think there is very, very little uh, research being done into yeah. this kind of into yeah. these these animals and their venom. I think I've heard it way too many times where somebody will be like, "Oh, it's rear fang, so it's like it's like a hog nose where if you're allergic to bees, then maybe it'll do something to you." It's kind of like the band-aid solution. Yeah, like, yeah. Explaining but it. Yeah. all venom is different. It yeah, affects all venom is fucking different. And we, this guy got fucking yeeted. So I'm gonna read this a little bit. Okay, so back in 2013, this was from it says Rosie K. Moore. Okay, back in 2013, I was unfortunate enough to make a mistake with a rear fang colubrid, a rainforest cat eye snake, uh, whilst on a conservation expedition with uh, Indigo Expeditions. Okay, Um, I'm not going to say exactly what it was. You guys could go look at that uh, post. A few nights into the expedition, we encountered the rainforest cat eye snake, and while I was showering the snake, uh, wait, what does it say? While I was showing the snake, I said I read showering. I'm fucking stupid. Sorry, he took it I was like, day. wait, what was he doing? <laughs> All right. As they were showing the snake, uh, pretty much it bit the person's finger. Uh, His thumb, I think. Yeah. The the mistake that they made, apparently they were handling a frog. And, um, and the snake. Yeah. And then the snake. And I guess it because of the scent and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and within 10 minutes, the, the, the finger started swelling. Obviously, this person was in an intense pain, like a burning pain. And... If you're watching this, like you really fucking should, because I'm gonna put up some of the pictures of what happened to this person's finger, but it's mm-hmm. disgusting. Yeah, no, I, I saw it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Interesting factoid about okay. boom slangs. Also, <laughs> the Ooh. guy. So the, the reason we know that boom slang venom can kill you is that the guy, a guy who was bitten by it in the field, and he Didn't chose not to fuck. go to a yeah, hospital. I heard that. He was like, nope, I'm gonna document every single thing that happens to me right now, up until he eventually died, and it's like. That's crazy. That's insane. A colubrid. Yep. So what do you think? So in, in, in the pet trade, you know, that those species, those, those rear fangs are all over the place. You don't even need a permit to get. What do you think of that? Okay, look. You don't need a permit to get a death stalker scorpion, and that is more of a death sentence. There are some scorpions that are super insanely toxic, and hospitals aren't really going to have – they're going to have no equipment to go ahead and handle this. So, but don't you think – and they're maybe, this big. But maybe we should need something Oh, yeah, that? 100%. Yeah. 100%. If you're going to regulate venomous snakes, you need to regulate venomous scorpions. Research yeah. At is least the anything only thing that is going to make any difference in that situation. Mm-hmm. That's the answer to, like, if they if those animals need, like, permits or anything like that. More research needs to be done with the animals to see what the venom does. Because uh-huh. that's honestly what's going to put them into which bracket they belong Would you say in to. this case right here that that animal should be a permitted animal? That needs more research. Because that's probably the first time I mean, someone's this documented is proof, yeah but this is proof that. that something's gonna happen well yeah people people I, i've seen a, a post on facebook where this guy let a hognose snake lack onto him and chew him just like sink all the, the venom into him i think it was a finger okay yeah yeah, yeah. just just clarify i needed into I needed his finger and he posted a picture and this guy's on his on his soapbox he's like this, this is why hognose snakes aren't good pets stop buying your kids hognose these are bad snakes these are dangerous you know the whole thing um he took off his shirt and he shows his lymph nodes bruised swollen and it's like well dude nobody's stupid enough to go ahead and just let there and sit there well, with well, that for a venom kid. and venom yeah. affects everybody differently how many kids go into a place and they're like i want a hog no because it's cute but how many kids are sitting there with a vendetta is saying there, like yeah is this there, is fine mind you this is the parents i'm not gonna lie I, I was on your side but i'm, I'm gonna turn into stone real quick okay <laughs> i don't give a fuck oh, <laughs> yeah. like that's not yeah you know so 
the parents bought it. Like when that's you, on you, bro. So FWC has banned five genus, five genera of colubrids, and like they need to be permanent. Okay. Um, I do know them. I'm not gonna name them though, but it's, it's just moonflame, mangrove. Fucking typhus, uh, dankylophus, uh, you've boy got the I African vine snake. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can, yeah, boy guys, one of them. You can look them up. You can look them up. They're everywhere. <coughs> but there are some that aren't in those genuses. You've got like Toxicodryas that at some, like, yes, they're still medically significant bites, you know? And if you happen to be allergic, good night. Oh, well. Bye bye. <laughs> you know, like, what are you going to do? Permit. The permit's That's what gonna, you're gonna do. But then, then you permit everything that potentially has venom because everything can potentially be medically significant. But Tino, wouldn't you say that everybody should have permit to own animals? That's something you've said. Yeah. You're right. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We're done. Yeah. yeah. I'm convinced. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm convinced. I love that. I'm convinced. I was saying- yeah. You should register your hog noses, guys. Yo, I'm like, no, 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 no. He's like, you know what? Old me is right, yo. This, this new year, new me shit is bullshit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Bring but, that shit back. So, that's another thing that a lot of people don't understand. They think venomous. They think deadly. They think this is really bad. Tarantulas are a good example. No tarantula on record Bees. has ever killed a person. Bees are a great example. They also have venom. Ants. Scorpions. You you were stung by a scorpion. You've been stung by a scorpion here in Central Florida. Did you die? Ants. You're here. You're here right now. You didn't even go to the hospital. Ants. Ants. Ants are a great example. Uncles. <laughs> No. Wait a minute. You want to talk about it? Buddy? <laughs> <laughs> you got stung, buddy. Yeah. So all these all these different animals have venom. It's like, what, what what can you really do? It's just individual. It just depends on you. I think I think the fact that one person was bit by even let's say a hognose snake and they went to a hospital. It's not grounds to go ahead and be like, we're gonna permit these animals now. They need a permit to go and have them. Uh, even though I do still believe that everybody should have a permit to have an yeah. animal. But I think that it's unnecessary. There's nothing better than the smell of coffee in the morning. There's also nothing better than the smell of reptiles in the morning. Psych. Reptiles with coffee. That's the smell you want. The strongest coffee. Head on over to the description or go to coldbloodedcaffeine.com and use the code REPTILESWITH to get your Reptiles with Coffee today. Uh, do you guys know who Chameleon Academy is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh my God. Bill Strand. Strand. Bill Strand, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So he has... Uh, Podcast, multiple social media channels. He Who's talks a lot about chameleons uh, oh, in general. Yeah. He's my go-to wreck if anybody wants to get a chameleon. Definitely yeah, check out the Chameleon Academy. And he's also these days talking a lot about naturalistic setups, bioactive. So I wanted to show you guys this. Mm-hmm. And it's a little bit, it's not very long. It's like a minute or so. And mm-hmm. then we can talk about it after because I think he's you know speaks some facts. Okay. The question may come up. Why are we doing so much of this bioactive and naturalistic stuff? And is it really necessary? And I think the answer to that question is yes, it's the next stage of our evolution of herpeticulture. Uh, We've done a very good job of taking care of their physical needs. Uh, We can grow them up healthy, they can reproduce, and we can repeat this reliably. And if that's the end of how we measure success, then yeah, we've achieved success for many species. But as living beings, we have an entire life beyond just our basic biological functions. We require mental and intellectual enrichment. And there is no doubt that we see that in our reptiles. And we are getting a better understanding of the effects of raising a reptile in a sparse minimalistic environment where they don't have mental stimulation. It has lifelong effects. Now, if you're the type that won't be convinced until you have peer-reviewed scientific research studies, I'll say we probably have a long time to wait before you get convinced. Yes, it will be challenging because we can't put numbers to enrichment, but I feel it's critical that we start on this long before we're able to put numbers to it. And so that's what I'm doing here at the Chameleon Academy. And it's great to have you coming along with me. Respect. What a guy. Yeah. But, okay, I want to make this distinction because this is I'm annoying this way. When we talk about enrichment versus bro, you bioactive. you can't agree with nobody, Well, bro. because a lot of people don't know how to argue. A lot of people don't know how to you prove their points. You don't know how to argue, bro. For instance, yes, obviously we know enrichment has positive effects on the animals. Bear enclosures are not good for animals. We know that. But that's a different argument than saying bioactive is necessary. It's completely different. You can go ahead and stimulate an animal and have them be enriched in their enclosures away from a bioactive in, in, tank a bioactive system working at a zoolog- uh, zoological facility i will say that then the enrichment will be very temporary and after that enrichment that you give them 
I, everything is, is is just done. It goes back to boredom and nothingness. A zoo is a zoo is a little bit difficult because it's, a lot of things are heavier. There's larger enclosures, well, but no, in a smaller I'm, enclosure, you can change I'm things, even, you can move things. Yeah, you can do a lot more. Not really. How long is that enriching the animal for? You're not encouraging the animal maybe to and dig, mm -hmm. climb. At what you, like, point, what it depends exactly on the enclosure it? and the type of animal too. At what point does that, what you're saying, moving around things, move away from enrichment into the stress category? Because that's mm -hmm. also adding additional stress to the animal. I was actually talking to Eric about this not so long ago. Mm -hmm. That it's like you can do little things into the enclosure, but mm -hmm. how often are you doing that? Right, Is that right. stressing out the animal and not no, being right, a positive right. So thing? Instead, you also have to consider animals that have home bases. Uh -huh. Animals that stick around the same like two-mile radius. They have dens that they usually go to mm -hmm. multiple sometimes. They're familiar with their environments. And they can handle a fallen tree. They can handle uh, a whole bunch of things. They can't handle roads coming through there. Yeah. I can't. Very few animals are going to tolerate me moving their enclosure every single day and being fine with that. But at least once a month, they're like, yeah, yeah but I don't cool. think and if you keep I, similar I items. Don't think, I don't think that's the same. Let's say you have a, a, a more bioactive enclosure. Mm -hmm. This The animal chooses what its enrichment is. It could dig mm -hmm. its own burrow. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe it can climb. Maybe it can swim. Maybe mm -hmm. it can like whatever it is. He chooses what his enrichment is right. instead of like your hand forcing being the in there and forcing yeah. enrichment into but, it. You and you I think that's way better. You have to meet the requirements of the enclosure as well. My, yes. One of my biggest gripes with, so like, let's say an Asian water monitor. It's not like, oh, I'm giving you a water bowl today. I'm giving you a, a, a thing yeah. to swim today. No, he should always have the option to swim. Yeah. You know, or snakes. They should always have the options to dig and bury themselves, that whole thing. Um, one of the gripes I have with bioactive enclosures specifically is arid setups. Arid setups are very, very difficult to keep bioactive a lot of the times because there's not enough moisture. When you go to a desert, you don't find a lot of the same soil creatures as you do in a rainforest to take out those nitrates. You also don't find the same type of plants. You know, succulents and cacti are not pulling the nutrients out of sand and dirt that you think they are in the wild. A huge rely, a huge uh, stabilizer for uh, ammonia and fecal matter in arid environments is f the presence of flies. Flies can fly long distances. They don't have to be stuck to soil. They don't have to have a certain dependence on a close by water source or a constant water source they can go find the water that they need to and then they find the fecal matter they remove it all that like w when we say bioactive like as much as you can try to replicate an ecosystem it's super super hard and you need to be yeah. constantly in that enclosure yep. checking levels checking humidity yep. checking soil checking checking everything you know it's yeah, fungus, so much more work mites and shit right right I don't think it's essential I think you can have an enriched animal and give them a great quality of life away from bioactive of course, depending on the animals, because some animals, chameleons specifically, it's very, very difficult to keep a chameleon happy in something that's not very naturalistic. Yeah. Um, but uh, in terms of like whether or not it's essential, I don't think it's essential. I think if people want to go ahead and do it, absolutely, go ahead and do it. Do the work, do the research, commit to it. You know, do the thing, give the best for your animal. But at the same time, it's like it just because it's bioactive doesn't mean it is the best. No, it depends how you do it. Like you said, it depends who, how you do it, and. That also comes with research, which he said there's not mm -hmm. much of. But I think it benefits them quite a lot. Like working with, uh, uh, let's say, Max, the, the black throat. Mm -hmm. He was in a very small enclosure made mostly out of wood. Mm -hmm. And like we went in there, we got him out of the enclosure, run around, we fed him. Like we did all that. Mm -hmm. But he's a whole different lizard now that he has a large enclosure. Oh, he yeah. digs his own burrow, goes in the water whenever he wants, climbs a palm tree that's mm -hmm. in there. Like he chooses. Like I walk around there and he is just doing his thing. Deciding what it's he wants. way different than where he was at where like it was very sterile and everything was a box and we could put things in there and he'll use it two minutes and then that was pretty much yeah, it. Yeah. And it just goes back. Like he was just basking all day. Now he basks, but he's also like digging a burrow. We mm -hmm. destroy the burrow. We put dirt on it again. He rebuilds yep. it, moves things around. Like yep. he is a whole different lizard yeah. personality wise. And, and, and I feel like that is needed for a lot of animals that is not given to where, yeah, they can survive in a box with barely anything. And you could give them enrichment here and there. Mm -hmm. But the brain just turns on for those. 15 minutes that you give them and then turns off the rest of the day. So it's yep. like, that's why I like the bioactive uh, part of it. I have animals that I barely feed mm -hmm. because I literally go in there and their body is just fucking perfect. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I'm not even, I'm not even going in there and doing anything. Like, right. I just, I go every now and then, mm -hmm. but then if I, if I do it, like, let's say I have a schedule weekly, I'll make my animals fat sometimes yeah. because everything is just eating whatever yeah. the fuck they find. And I'm like, oh, yeah. whatever. 
Yeah. As long as their body type. So I think I think there's a lot of benefit to it. Where the other one, the only benefit is the animal is alive, but it's just bored out of his fucking mind mm-hmm. in a box. You still gotta provide options. I don't keep uh, most of my snakes bioactive. I don't. But I and also think that a lot of the times enrichment, depending on the animals, doesn't have to be that extensive. You don't have to do a crazy amount. You don't have to like perform yeah, magic and, tricks and, for and, your and snake. And not exactly bioactive. It doesn't have to be bioactive, but naturalistic. Naturalistic. And naturalistic okay. doesn't have to be with like isopods and all this bullshit. Like it just mm-hmm. it just something that is more more. One, I like yeah, I, I, I like things that are aesthetic. Let's start there. It's but not only aesthetic, closure. but mm-hmm. different things yeah. to do. A, a good substrate. Tons of things to mm-hmm. climb, water. Mm-hmm. Like it's not about like it could be fake fucking plants for all I yeah. give a fuck, but it, it still works. It can hide yeah. behind the plants, yeah. get over the plants. Uh, actually, at work we have these big enclosures with uh, venomous snakes. We had uh, fertilants, and the fertilants are usually on the ground, and we have like a substrate there, and then we have tons of branches. They barely ever use the branches, so I didn't. I had a little bit of free time, so I went around and I got bromeliads and I pulled them out of the ground and I tied them to the branches. Now they lay inside the bromeliads, mm-hmm. and they get water there. Yep. Like I, I've seen them drink. They lay on them. They hide under the ones that I put on the ground. Yep. Like before, they were just in these two corners all day. I knew those snakes were there. Yep. I added plants. I find them all around the enclosure because now they have new things, yep. new smells, like more things to do. So okay. I think it's very important. If you don't give it to them, you won't know that they needed it. But see, mm-hmm. that wasn't even that much. That wasn't. No, that, you didn't wasn't. do a crazy amount for no, them. I just added for some me, plants. Uh, I keep a lot of human snakes, so sometimes I miss. I miss about like once to twice weekly. I try. Um, when I do, those snakes are out. Mm-hmm. They're like, it's raining. Cool. You know, like something different's happening, you know? Um, yeah, but you have to be there for those things. Yeah. What about enrichment while you're not there? Where this snake is like just at the glass, just. <laughs> you know what I mean? True. You know what I mean? For this guy, it's the tub. <laughs> I hate you. He can see through the little, little yeah. thing at the end. He's like, you know, so. One of the, not to bring up the whole tub tank argument, but a lot of the times a lot of people say, oh, if a tub uh, it, in, in the wild, if a snake was in a burrow and it, it was provided everything it needed, you know, the food was taken, it was went in, uh, fecal matter was taken out, the snake would never leave the burrow. That's not true. I tell everyone that that's the case. Open your racks and see if your snakes don't leave. They don't. They don't. <laughs> no, no, they, they do. They, they come say- out like this. They come out like this. <laughs> yeah, this guy. They leave. They leave. They could be. They could be fat snakes that have already eaten. They've got You're water. Everything. Clean. They still move. You're They're still like. Right. I want to go ahead and explore. Unless you have a burrow and you fucking close that shit. They can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> they can't leave. You'll leave the, the gopher, gopher tortoises alone. Oh my god, the gopher tortoises. <laughs> <laughs> you guys so are the same way. Like, crazy. <laughs> the turtle people. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what about You're bioactivity right. for turtles though? What? How do you, you do know that? what? What do you mean? How do you do it? Actually, actually, mm. actually. I do want to bring one of my friends here, one of my coworkers, Peter. Bro, he made a crazy fucking pond for his uh, Fly River turtle. Cool. There was sand at the bottom. Uh-huh. There was plants at the bottom. Yep. It was clear as fuck. Like you could see all the yeah, way yeah, down. Yeah. And he had like the nice filters yep. and everything. There was fish. There was shrimp. Yep. There was snails. Bioactive. Like fire as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like fire as fuck. For real, for real, like I've never seen. Like once I saw it, I was like, I want to do this shit. There are also like in in aquaculture, there's there's ways to make enclosures where you have a, a small minimal bio load into the enclosure, mm-hmm. and you can just live plant it, no filter. Man, yeah. literally, so cool. And even like if you if you turn like, if you bring like aquascaping into reptiles, and you put those two things together, boom, you got it. Yep. Like I think that's the easiest one to do, yeah. and the coolest one, honestly. Yeah. It Anything is. that's like aquatic. Well, one of the things that's difficult is bio load. You depending on how large the turtle is, yeah. how much fecal material is going into the yep. tank. You have to have plants and you have to have like cleanup crew shrimp. Oh, you gotta that do go ahead and remove upscale. all that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, 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 just make it well what Peter had was a big like I don't know. I, I'm gonna take a guess and like say 300? 300. Yeah, I like got 300. Circular. Gallon. Yes. 300. Yes, like a big one. Like it fucking worked. Mm-hmm. It fucking worked. Yeah. I'm. I think he says it. We need to bring him in. If you're listening to this, you're a reptile lover. All right, and what do we all need? We need supplies. Head on over to imperialreptiles.com and use the code REPTILESWITH to get a specific discount special to us and our listeners for your reptile supplies today. I have bioactive tarantula enclosures right now. Fire. With the ones I got from you. Like plants in it, bro. Sick. Mm-hmm. For tarantulas. My hentai are in bioactive. What'd you call oh, me? for real? The, the three-stripe three central bark scorpion. I thought you said hentai. 
Hentai. <laughs> I was like, buddy, this guy's name is the podcast. Hence. This guy's name is Hence. So <laughs> yeah. Hentai. But uh, yeah, they're in bioactive clinics. I feel it and Mike and How are the babies? What happened with that? Um, a lot of the babies, the initial babies I got, I lost them because I kept them on the wrong type of soil. I tried to do like outdoor soil, like soil from like outside. It didn't retain moisture at all. So a lot of them died through that forced mm. mold. So like, all right. So then the next time I did, uh, do you have any alive right now? No, I, they, they, they're all past or they're gone. Some. Damn. <laughs> yeah. They didn't want to tell me the bad news. Yeah. yeah. It's sad, yeah. but it's okay. I yeah. still have the, yeah, you know, the adults. You know. so it's like, I bred the centipedes. You did? Yeah, did, uh, did, uh, oh my gosh. Jackson help you to, uh, nope. I just put them together. You just put them bro. together? <laughs> oh said, my God. I was, like, I was like, said Battle Royale. <laughs> no, I said, I said, let me see what. And then nothing happened. I was like, I'm going to keep them overnight. And then next day, I separated them. And then the day after that, I saw the webbing thing. And I was like, oh no, there's mold. And I remember I read the sperm what? looks like webs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh. And I grabbed the female and I put it in there. And she was like, mm, yeah. Mm. I showered in it. <laughs> oh my God. She showered in the cum, dude. Yeah. yeah so mean, that's how they do it. Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know how they yeah, do Yeah, and then they dance with one another. So I just left them I uh, do overnight, similar, and then honest. I separated them, <laughs> and now I'm just waiting to see what happens. Cool, dude. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. That's, That's so crazy. crazy. The You'll odds. see. So how deep is the soil for them, for the female? You won't see Average. Her. You won't see her. What she's going to do is she's going to make a little hole, a little burrow, and she's going to cuddle with her eggs and just, like, protect them until they eventually even, disperse. Yeah. I don't even. I know where I can see her at the bottom right now. I can see both. She's at the bottom. Yeah, both Oh, then, yeah, you can see them. Yeah. I just go like this. I just go like this. Sweet dude, yeah. That's hell funny. yeah, hell yeah! Hell Listen, yeah. Um, this we're gonna cut the episode here. We got Eric in front of the camera now. We fucking did it. You can see his beautiful face and his oh, long hair. Right now. This is this was the reptiles with podcast. <laughs> <laughs>